Would you like to play an RPG with no random encounters like Chrono Trigger? How about throwing in a rockin' soundtrack like Final Fantasy VII? Or maybe some puzzle solving and action elements like A Link to the Past? Huh? You see where I'm going with this? Then come and let's play Final Fantasy Mystic Quest! Yeah! This is one of my favorite RPGs of all time. I don't care what anyone says. And it's totally based on, biased by nostalgia. It's available for download on the Nintendo Wii if you want to play it that way, and I totally recommend it. The gap between my opinion of this game and the general community is probably bigger than any other game that I've made an LP for. I just love this game. Oh, yeah, there's a little tutorial there if you wait around long enough, but we're not going to go through that. But yeah, I mean, the nice thing about this game, there's no annoying characters, no having to take 10 to 15 minutes to uh, set up your party or, or anything like that. You want to go to another area, you know, it's just get up and go. It's pure mindless fun in RPG form. So, uh, that said, in every technical respect, this game is pretty much inferior to everything in the main series. Except the music, which is kick ass! Yeah, let's go! What's going on? Oh no, we gotta get out of here, man. Yeah, I named the character Benjamin because, from what I heard, that's his default name, although I don't know where that came from, but anyway. No, I don't want to jump. I'm just going to sit here for a little while. What do you... No, no, we got to jump. But yeah, just like Final Fantasy Legend 3, you press the B button, you can jump. Yeah, it, it was actually designed by the same uh, development team as Final Fantasy Legend 3. You'll probably recognize a lot of the sprites from that game, too, except, well, now they're color. Although this is only a 4 megabyte game, so... Focus Tower, huh? Do we have to complete our focus there? No. No, that was another game. Okay. Nuts. The four fiends? Oh, yeah. Instead of orbs, we got crystals now. I guess like Final Fantasy IV. So, okay. There we go. Let's help the poor guys out. Or, well, kill them and then take the crystals. Or, You know what I mean, viewers. What do you mean, me? Uh-oh! Monsters! This is probably the hardest battle in the game. Because you really have no margin for error here. Now, it's pretty simple to start. You just attack and that's it. You don't have any spells or anything like that. So, just attack the guy. The problem is that if you miss, and the miss rate is obscenely high early in the game, unfortunately. But, yeah, if he gets a critical hit on you, or you miss, you're pretty much dead. So, yeah, yeah, he got me. He got a lucky shot there. Uh, no, no, let's uh, let's try that one again, game. But yeah, I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. All you can do is just keep on attacking the guy and hope that he doesn't get a critical hit and hope that you don't miss. As long as neither of those situations happens, you're okay. You'll win. You, you, you'll outlast him. So, maybe getting a crit. Yeah, notice when you hit the guy, he starts showing a little bit of injuries there like that. It's a nice little touch, you know? They, you know, I mean, they didn't ever did that in the main series, really, you know? I mean, it's like, what, Chrono Cross, the next game they did that had something like that? All right. Yeah, I thought you said you knew. Oh. Some prophet you are. Nuts. Okay, so we got to find these crystals to save the world. How are we going to do that? Oh, I, uh, didn't find that part out yet. Nice. Okay, well, I guess we gotta go to some forest and follow the guy there, apparently. So, he's recruiting me to save the world, but he has no idea what I'm supposed to do. Great job, man! Whoa! It's a pretty fast earthquake there. Now, let's check it out here. How's it going? Okay, because of all the earthquakes. What am I gonna do? Nuts. Well, anyway, we got some treasure there, but there's all these trees in the way. Darn trees, they're always getting in the way! Nah, nah. But, uh, yeah, we should, uh, help this guy out. Sure, why not? You press the B button, you can jump over people, too. Ha! That was easy. Yeah, just a little, not really a puzzle, but, uh, Kaylee, huh? And Foresta. The tree wither, huh? Okay, sounds like a plan. No, no, not yet. 
let's see, let's go to my, uh, yeah, I want to change that around. And, uh, let's see, message speed, I'll leave that alone for now. If you want me to speed it up or slow it down, let me know. One thing you can do is if you press the start and select button at the same time, you get this little message here. It tells you something about your processor for your game. I, I don't know why, but, well, there you go. So, let's see what's in this chest. Cure potions, all right. Whenever you open a brown chest like that, you'll get, item, you'll get like, uh, items like cure potions, heal potions, things like that. And the chest will respawn every time you leave the area. So if you wanted to, you could just go back and forth and get 99 of those if you really wanted to. But I'm not going to spend my time on that. So let's check out Foresta. Oh, they got nice little uh, music here. Huh? How's it going? Oh, no. Man, the monsters are real jerks in this world. Well, let's take a look around. Huh? How's it going? Oh, well, darn. That's... Not good at all, I guess. Oh, yeah, I suppose so. Nuts. Oh yeah, let's go. I can take care of the monsters. I mean, I barely could handle one, but yeah, I even got killed by them. Oh, great. She's an environmentalist. Wonderful. Yeah, I'll be okay. It's good. Hey, hey, all right, more party members. Uh, in this game, you get a second guest character who will follow you around for a little while. So uh, she has the ax weapon and guest characters cannot gain experience. They always have a fixed level, good enough to get you through until you get the next guest character and so on and so forth. So uh, let's take a look at her armor. Yeah, she's got protection from silence and water and petrify. But if you notice on the menu there, uh, what is it? It doesn't show up in her status screen there. It's not applying to her. There's a little bug in the game where it doesn't apply there. So what I want to do is save. Let's see if I can reset here. No, I can't reset here. Okay, uh, let me try this. No. Okay, hold on a second, viewers. Okay, let's try this one again now. I want to uh, reload my save file because once you reload the save file, theoretically, that should be there. Yeah, you see now her uh, elemental properties are showing up. So yeah, it's a bug and it happens also whenever you recruit a new party member too. So you, you gotta be careful with that. So, okay. So yeah, in this game, we only have two characters to keep track of at a time. So they like to keep it real simple. It's a pretty basic RPG. It's very beginner, or a very basic RPG for beginners. So, you know, there's nothing complex about it at all, really. I mean, there's no, de well, maybe a little bit, but not very many debuffs. Oh yeah, I can uh, press the A button to use my weapon. In this case, I have a sword that doesn't do anything for right now. So apparently Benjamin wanted to kill that guy instead of actually uh, getting any information out of him. Sure, why not? You uh, just hop in the bed here, you get your HP and MP restored. Although in this case, we got spell charges, like in Final Fantasy 1. You got three different kinds of magic, white, black, and wizard magic. So, well, gotta take this one step at a time, buddy. All right, more cure potions, awesome. Let's see if anyone else knows how we can save the world around here. Uh, I'm not gonna talk to you, I'm gonna go up here. Apparently everyone lives in trees around here. What is this, Avatar? Not that I've ever seen the movie, but... Oh, okay, sure. Yeah, you see the red chest back there? That's a special chest. But there's no way we can get back there. If only there were a way we could get back to that chest. Okay, let's go. Oh, no. Well, let's see what I can do. They're evil trees, like X-Death. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, so we gotta go up to the uh, bone dungeon. <laughs> bone. So I guess, what, they're causing earthquakes and making people old. Gee, that's terrible, like, I guess. But if you go back here, you can find a secret passage. Yeah, there's lots of secret passages in this game. Sometimes they'll lead to unique chests like this one that contains the cure spell there. So basically you use go to spell, you can use cures, uh, on yourself or on everyone if you just press down like that. Uh, Kaylee comes with the life spell which revives you 
uh, to max HP. There's no Life 2 spell or anything like that. But the interesting thing about it is that uh, even if you're not dead, you can use the Life spell to restore you to max HP anyway, which the Cure spell cannot do. Uh, the life spell can also be used to cause instant death on an enemy, too, because it toggles whether you're alive or not, apparently. And it, Oh, yeah, that, that's a bug, though, obviously. So I'm not going to take advantage of that. But, you know, the enemies are, here are going to be easy enough as I go through the level forest. Next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy Mystic Quest! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.